Today I'm going to talk a little more about color grading and the two softwares I like to use which are Film Convert and Vision Color by Color Grading Center. Um, both of them offer a unique look to them. I enjoy working with both of them. And so today, as you see, I got a few clips here already. I'm going to go ahead and add a Film Convert to both of them as well as the LUT Utility, uh, also known as Vision Color, uh, to one of them as well. And so you'll notice that Film Convert and LUT Utility are a little bit different, but offer the same gain structure, except uh, a little bit different way about it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some layers here and uh, let you see. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to Film Convert. That should be Film Emotion and Fonica Pro 10 here. I'm going to add this, drag it on over. Alright, here we go. And yeah, wait for it to come up here. Here we go. Okay, so obviously we're using Blackmagic Cinema Camera here in Apple ProRes in the Film Log mode. So we'll go over here and we'll select BMCC Film. Alright, as you can see, it already changes it. The default convert to is going to be the Kodak Vision Color 3 5207. Uh, I see it adds a um, tiny bit of shadow detail in there. Uh, a little dark. The highlights are pretty balanced for the most part. Uh, here you'll see a film color and the grain structure. A lot of people don't like using the grain to 100%, uh, but if you like that, great. Uh, normally, my rule of thumb, as well as others who have said, kind of go between 0 and 30. Um, I tend to go 0 because the black magic already has a great grain structure to it. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to... Let's see, about twenty nine percent close to thirty. So, got thirty percent there. All right, and so since the sensor is more like a super sixteen. Uh, grain to it. Obviously that will change the grain structure in Film Convert here. So now you can go through your different selections here. Go to 5213, which is okay, which added more blue to it. Uh, got a couple of the Fuji stocks here as well, which are pretty nice. Uh, the Fuji A543 VD, um, I actually like it. It warms it up. Um, it pops a little more in the highlights compared to the, uh, I'll go back to the Kodak 5207, and you'll notice the difference here in a second. You'll notice that, that it crushes the shadows just a little more. So for this, we'll go with the Fuji stock here for now, which I like. So we'll leave that there. Our film color is at 100%. Our grain is at 30. Our exposure is not changed. To me, the exposure looks great, as in this particular case, I use a spot meter, also a light meter. I'm sorry, correct. I use a light meter in this case. Um, didn't have a spot meter at the time, so just going off uh, where the sun was in this particular case, um, to the left of the screen, it was a bit of overcast, so I had a mix of sun and clouds in there. In this case, the sun played uh, in favor to me. Um, which is great. So one thing the Blackmagic camera is carry a light meter with you, but you can also expose it by underclipping your zebras at 100. Um, you always want to try to underexpose and try to overexpose. So with that one rendering here, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next one, which would be the same one, which we're going to just use a LUT utility by color grading center and just apply a lot 
it's going to take the film log and convert it into a Rec 709. So we'll take that, drag it on over. Yeah, I need to add more RAM to my computer here, as you can tell. Alright, so, so come up here. Great, and it's up. And as you see, it says apply a LUT. Obviously, it gives you no LUT. So we'll bring it down. You can create an external file if you want to, but it has a lot of great presets here. If you use an Aria Alexa, already has a preset. Reason the Black Magic Cinema Camera already has a preset. Canon C Log for your C500, C300, C100. It works great in that too. Has Cine Style, uh, has Osiris in there as well. Um, looks like the last Batman movie. Uh, which is one of the Osiris plugs in was probably used for that to get a, a bit of a cooler feel to it, which is a pretty cool effect. Um, I'm not too fond of the Kodak, I'm sorry, the, um, the Kodak uh, film stocks I have in here. Um, just a little too warm, I'm sorry, a little too uh, cold for my taste. As you can see, uh, highlights are a little blown out, the shadows, of course. So in this case, we'll go back to Blackmagic Film Log, Rec to 709. And doing this, it right there, you know, you can see the clouds pop. It's not too overexposed. You can definitely shut out this, see a lot of shallow shadow detail. in the tree area over here, as you can see, which is pretty nice. Um, we'll go ahead and zoom in here, as you can see. Go a little more. There we go. All right, get my hand out here. Okay. As you using the LUT, you st and even this is just the Apple ProRes codec inside the Blackmagic camera. You see, with using the LUT utility plugin, you're able to retain a lot of shadow detail right here, which is nice. Now let's go back over to. Um, the film convert plug in here and you'll see a difference um, you see it's a tiny bit less uh, shadow detail uh, but still very nice um, I enjoy both plugins again like I said uh, each one offers unique unique vision and, uh, and color detail to it which is nice so this one here is going to be the luck utility and going back to this one here it's going to be the film cover so if you look in the flowers right here you'll see the, the green pops uh, the red pops there as well which is nice it's not too overblown out right here on the sign and we'll go back over to the luck utility here and um, for me, at least, the the LUT utility, um, it's just a tiny bit sharper. Um, don't know why that is. I'm pretty sure maybe it could be the grain structure as well. Um, each color grading software, uh, again, um, kind of do the same thing, um, which I, that's why I enjoy using both of them. Um, there are certain things that film convert which I love, and certain things I like about the low utility, which I love over the comfort. So having both of these plugins here, um, really nice, especially if you don't have the time of color correcting or any grading. You know, I'm not a colorist, but I do enjoy trying to dabble more into the color grading and correcting aspect. Um, so for this, instead of me having to go into a three-way color wheel, it allows me just to apply an emotion and kind of somewhat correct my footage within an instant. Um, these two are all tools. Uh, I was never meant to replace DaVinci or any other, uh, even Adobe Lightroom. I use Adobe Lightroom for all my raw files because um, DaVinci takes up too much of my iMac so I have to revert to Lightroom for that case but now for my ProRes this allows me to get a pretty quick color correction if 
for the most part. So it's pretty nice. So we'll go over here to another clip, which is a bit of a, a medium shot. And we'll do the same thing. We'll go ahead and apply Film Convert to this one here. So you can see it brings up, the source camera brings up Canon 5D automatically. It only takes a second just to convert it over to the black magic. And right there, it's pretty nice. Um, clouds are popping. Uh, maybe add just a tiny bit more shadow detail, bring up the shadows, bring up the uh, highlights and mid tone, just a hair. So this one here, we'll. Going to flip back over to super 16 millimeter size. And with this one, we'll go ahead and put the gain at, sorry, grain at zero. Um, okay, and this one here, we'll actually go ahead and go back to the Fuji stock again. And there you go. It brings up just enough shadow detail, rising the shadow details, just enough mid tones, a tiny bit of highlights. The exposure is pretty balanced for the most part, going off the window, glass windows here, the clouds, and especially with the dome here, especially on a bright day. Uh, this is the Orlando Science Center, um, just north of downtown Orlando. And on a sunny day, this thing, this light just bounced off thing like crazy. Um, so this is um, no grain to it, film convert. So we have another one here. We're going to go ahead and apply the utility LUT to this one. And we'll give you two different looks. All right, as you can see, uh, it doesn't change anything. Uh, obviously, there's no let to it, so you're still seeing the flat film log. So we'll go over here, and we'll go to film to rec 709. Uh, as you can see on the let utility, that the sky obviously is a tiny bit overexposed in this particular area. So what we can do is on the max setting, We'll go and bring down probably about 80%. Maybe a little more than that. So let's see how far we can take this. May have to take a little bit further than that. Okay, now you're starting to see the uh, log again, flat image. So we'll put it about 80% here probably. Let's see. I'm going to go to 100 that's one thing you'll notice um, with the low utility. It handles the highlights pretty great. Um, again, this shot here was a really bright day. And again, to the left of the frame, there's a tiny bit of overcast, but the sun was still out. Um, low utility brings up um, a lot better the blues and the greens for the most part um, over film convert. Um, but as far as the highlights go, I think the film convert handles this is just a bit better. Um, so that's it for as far as just kind of showing you guys this. I'm going to go ahead and, and play a video for you where you'll see more shots using film convert and LUT utility from Color Grading Center. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time.